Hi, it's Dot from DotStrat.com, and I'm here to tell you that strawberry shortcake on a low-carb diet is possible and delicious. And you're going to go ahead and watch how I put this together while I'm just going to start digging in. Mmm. Alright, so what goes into making a low-carb strawberry shortcake? Well, strawberries, obviously. This morning I already went ahead and I cut my strawberries. I either cut them in half or quartered them, quartered them depending on the size. And I just, instead of adding what you normally would use, which is a quarter or a third of a cup of sugar, I use just a teaspoon or um, a couple of teaspoons of a low-carb sweetener. So that's helping with it juicing. They're very, very shiny. They taste very good. I've sampled them, so they're ready to go. There's a little bit of juice in there. I also, for the biscuits themselves, I'm using hazelnut flour. You can also substitute almond flour if you prefer. Knock yourself out. I'm using uh, three tablespoons of butter. Measure the butter out first, and then they're gonna, it's gonna go into the pot on the stove momentarily to melt. You wanna add melted butter to this, as opposed to when you're using regular flour, you would add cold butter. We want melted butter. I have one egg. I've got um, baking powder and I have sea salt. I'm also going to be adding in some vanilla extract that I have here just to um, add a nice little flavor to the biscuits. So with that, I'm going to go ahead, get my butter on the stove, start melting it and start mixing all the ingredients for the actual biscuits. All right, my butter is melted. I am all set, ready to go. I have my oven preheated to 350. I have my hazelnut flour in my little batter bowl here. So I'm gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna add some salt, sea salt, the baking powder, an egg. And then I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna start mixing this up a little bit. I'm mixing this up now without the butter simply because I don't want the butter because it's a little bit hot to cook the egg. So I just want the egg mixed in there a little bit, protected by all the other ingredients, especially the hazelnut flour. Now I'm gonna add the butter. So here we go. Let's do that. Put that back there. Now, we just start mixing. Now, with hazelnut, unlike almond flour, I'm using a cup of hazelnut flour. You would use a direct one cup of almond flour, but hazelnut flour loves to be a little soupy at times. So, I have a little extra hazelnut flour that I'm adding in. because You don't want it to be overly moist. You want it to be able to form biscuits. A little bit more. There we go. That was about two tablespoons I'm adding. Okay, with that, I'm going to go ahead, get my pan over, and I'm going to start using my tablespoon to start making the biscuits. All right, I've already made two. Not perfectly formed, but that's okay. I have my uh, tablespoon that I'm using. If you have a cookie scoop at home, this goes a lot faster and a lot easier than what I'm doing. I don't have a cookie scoop, so I'm using a knife. What I'm doing is just, I'm using two tablespoons. I'm leveling out, if you can see here, I'm leveling out the tablespoon pretty much, making sure it's not overly done. And I'm just going ahead and putting the dollop, getting all of it sticks in here, so, just make sure you use all of it. And so I have my dollop here and I'm gonna go get a second one out of the batter bowl. And again, just go ahead. I like to level it. You can do heaping if you want. You're gonna have extras um, after you do your six biscuits and I just divide that evenly. So it's almost like two and a half tablespoons of batter that goes into each little biscuit. So it just goes on top shape it if you want. I'm going to shape it, reshape it though with my fingers a little bit. You don't want to handle it too much though, but I'll show you how that's done after I do the rest of the biscuits. 
Okay, my batter is evenly divided amongst the six biscuits. What I'm gonna do now is shape them a little bit. So you can see I've got height and it shouldn't spread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just shaping them and I'm gonna flatten them slightly. They're not gonna be terribly large. They don't spread out. I'm just gonna shape this again, just because I it's like stacks of like three of a couple of seams. So I'm just flattening them out. You don't really wanna overwork it. Almost like patting it down, if you will. There, with that, they are ready to go in the oven. They're not gonna rise much. They're pretty much gonna be that size. They shouldn't spread too much, although with hazelnut flour, it can spread at times. Uh, at least my experience with it is, but this should be perfect when it comes out in about 15 to 20 minutes. All right. The biscuits, they're out of the oven. They smell really good. They look great. You can see they are a little bit, you know, you got the cracks in them. They are going to be a little crumbly, but that's okay. Um, what you're going to do now when you're going to make your strawberry shortcake, and we've all, if you've made strawberry shortcake before, it's no different. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm using a serrated knife for this though, and I'm just going to cut them. And again, like I said, they're going to start getting a little crumbly, but that's all right. Now, they're small, but again, you're low carb, and so you're doing this all about proportion. So keep in mind when you're making um, pastries out of nuts, essentially, this is a lot of nuts here. So you don't want to go overboard with the amount of carbs. So that's why it's small, and that's good. I'm using about a quarter cup of uh, strawberries. You can actually, um, a third of a cup of strawberries is, is about four carbs roughly not including um, that includes the fiber on there so you can use a little more a little less it's up to you but you don't want to go overboard and again I'm just going to go ahead and plate and I'm just going to add my strawberries so I got my strawberries on here I'm using a clotted cream you can use about an ounce of this it has a way more fat than our traditional heavy creams or heavy whipping cream that we make um, that we make uh, whipped cream out of, I lost my thought there. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on here. I'm just gonna smoosh it on between. I'm gonna use my finger. That's okay, the husband doesn't mind. So I got that on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and just top it. So it almost looks like a little sandwich. <laughs> but you can even add, because I, I can do a little bit more. I'm gonna add some of the juice and a couple of little strawberries on top one strawberry at least, but a little bit of the juice I'm going to spoon on. If I can get the juice without the strawberries. There. I'm going to be digging in pretty soon. I have a little cream on my hand. I'll try that. <laughs> but if you like, give it a thumbs up. And let me know how you make your strawberry shortcakes if you thought about trying them or if you are going to try something like this. It's delicious, it's tasty, it's real easy to make too, and it's also fast. So go ahead, give it a try, and until next time, I'll see you.